Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm gonna do a quick uh, video on how I build bumpers. Uh, there's a lot of info out there online and I found these products work pretty well. So this will be quick and hopefully informative. If you like this material, I'll leave some links in the description so you can go buy them. Um, I got all this from Amazon, and but you can find it at you know any of the local stores or anywhere like that. Uh, so what I use, Let's start. What I use is 200 pound test tuna, like mono. Uh, it's pretty thick and it's super rigid and durable. You know, this is, I, I used to use 40 pound. Now I do this 200 pound. It works pretty well. It's going to keep your gear working real well. Um, I just bought these cheap crimps. I'll post a link on these. Uh, that's just to crimp these aluminum crimps. So all I do is I just take this, pretty simple, take your line, run it through one of your crimps, make a small loop. You can make it as big as you want. I like to try to go to smaller loops just to keep things nice and neat. All right, make sure that you got a little bit of tag line out there. I kind of try to tuck it in just a little bit, but and I take the crimps and just smash it. Pretty simple, super self-explanatory. Just showing my method. All right, now that'll hold. I mean, you can smash it down a little better than that. And <clears throat> my bumpers, I'll go anywhere from like 12 to 18 or, you know, when I'm running 360s, I'll go up to 36 inch. But uh, for this purpose, I'll do like a foot just to show you. So I got a little ruler here and I'm not, I know I'm not too accurate on it. I mean, it doesn't need to be like, <laughs> you know, down to a 16th of an inch. I basically general, the general idea is good enough for me, I think. Uh, so I just go a little bit farther and then I snip it. And I always add these beads, these cone shaped beads. They're awesome. I forgot, but usually I have to drill them out for this tuna cord. I think I've got some pre-drilled, hopefully. So I didn't think about that. Of course. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna drill this out. All right, I'm back. So I got one that's drilled out. Uh, so anyway, I run these cones on here and they're just a bead and I just drop them down. I always like to run one of these. I, I used to do, I also sometimes I'll do like color coded or I'll color code the bead different, uh, color code the line, different bead colors to symbolize, uh, you know, its length, but I haven't really been doing it on these because it's pretty easy to tell. And I, I don't build a whole lot of these. I don't need to build a whole lot of these. That's kind of the, the point of uh, doing these. You're not going to need as many bumpers on hand. So at this point, I got this all lined out. Let me show you. So I'll just go to one, you know, one foot. And just like last time, run this in there. Run that in there. Loop it around. I'll do, you know, make it a small loop. And then I'll smash it. Smash. And then I just trim off the excess. Bam. All right. <clears throat> Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. This bumper will last like multiple trips. You know, I used, I used a uh, 40 pound before and I'd have to be replacing them multiple times a trip. So I like these. It's super simple. There's a million ways to do these. I'll just leave the link in the description of where the products to find these on Amazon. I think total for this is Ah, gosh, I'll have to look, but I believe it, it's probably going to cost you around like 40 bucks. But you're going to get a ton of uh, the aluminum crimps. And look at all this line. I mean, I've been using this for over a year. Look how much I have left. This is all I use it for. Uh, so you're, it's going to go a long way. I don't know how it's going to take a long time for me to go through this. So I just like to have extra material, though, and a lot of gear on hand um, to be able to catch fish. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up, please. And... I'll be doing more videos on other little gear tricks that I've seen 
and just kind of show you what I do. And if you like it, cool. All right. Thanks. See you next time.